Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. I'm just going to show you today how to create this um, mermaid inspired look using the Urban Decay Electric Palette and um, a white eyeliner from Illa Masca just to add some detail into the inner corner. Now for the base I used Smashbox Illuminizing Primer and then for my foundation I used Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now if you'd like to know how to recreate this look then just keep watching. Thank you. So firstly I'm going to start off with a white eyeshadow just under my brow bone just to highlight the area. Also, if you have a darker skin tone, you might want to go um, with something a bit darker. Just a few shades lighter than your skin tone will be fine. As you can see on myself, as my skin's relatively pale, it doesn't really show up, but it will help with the blending later. So bring this all the way down to the tear duct and all the way around. Okay. So firstly, we're going to start off um, at the inner corner and work our way out. So we're going to be using a colour called Freak from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So we're going to apply that just um, around the tear duct. It's a nice minty light green. And do it a little bit underneath as well and then slowly blend that out. Okay, next we're going to use the colour um, Gonzo, which is a bright blue, also from the Urban Decay palette. I'm going to use that on the next third of the eyelid. Firstly place your brush on the lash line, because you're going to deposit the most amount of colour the first time you put the brush down, and then gradually pat the colour out. This will help you to start blending it. You don't want to go much higher than the crease on the eyelid because we're going to blend that out with another colour later. So don't worry about making that bit too neat right now. And when you've put enough colour down, start blending it into the fruit colour by patting it slightly over the edge of that. And then get the brush that you applied the fruit colour with and start patting it over the edge with Gonzo. That will help blend them. When you're happy with that, you then want to take Chaos, which is the electric blue, and put that on the last third of the eye. Again, so pat the colour down straight onto the eyelid, that will help it adhere a bit better. Adhere, in fact. This colour is quite um, tricky to blend because it's slightly more matte than any of the others in the palette. And take that up to the crease and again now as there's less product on the brush start blending it over the top of Gonzo and that will mix the two together okay when you're happy with the amount of color that's there you want to take a soft blending brush and get fringe which is the turquoise color and run that all the way across the um, crease to help blend those out up into the brow bone So at first you only need a small amount of the product and you can build it up. These are quite pigmented so just go easy at the beginning. Do some small circular motions and that will help blend all those first three colours out into this. Slowly bring the product higher and then I'm going to concentrate it on this inner corner just under the eyebrow. We're going to lift the product up all the way up into the eyebrow. You want to blend that into that white that we applied right at the beginning. And that was put there so that this would be a lot smoother. Sometimes the products tend to stick a bit if there's not already a powder on the eyelid. You could use a translucent powder at the beginning. So as you can see, the colour's built up a bit more on the inside and then gradually goes down. I 
I'm just gonna go over those first three one more time just to make sure that they're really pigmented. Always tap off your brush before you apply it to the skin as you don't want any um, fallout at the bottom onto your foundation and things like that because that'll make it quite messy. You could always apply your foundation last if you're worried about that. Okay, when you're happy with those three colours, we're then going to take a, a thin eyeliner brush and get Urban, which is the bright purple colour, and take that along the lower lash line. This one's my favourite colour. Can you tell it matches my hair? Take that all the way into me to freak at the inner corner. And then you want to get a soft blending brush and take Jilted, which is um, the other shade of purple, a bit warmer, and just blend that out. You can blend it down as low as you like. Um, the lower it goes, the more dramatic it's going to be. So really about what you feel you could wear. Slightly overlap it in that inner corner, just so there's not a really harsh line where those two colours meet and softly blend it into the upper lash area okay so when you're happy with that we're going to just go over where it meets the white with a big soft blending brush just to remove any harsh lines do the inside corner blend underneath as well. This is with a clean brush, there's nothing on it. Right, when you're happy with um, the colours and the blending, we can move on to the liquid eyeliner. So I'm using um, Scribe, which is a white liquid eyeliner by Illamasqua, but you could use any product. You could also use a black eyeliner if you like. Make sure the blending is done first because once we put these dots in place um, it will be very difficult for you to blend over without removing them. So I'm generally putting it into sort of um, a triangle shape from the inner corner of my eyebrow down to the tear duct and sort of diagonally up from that. It doesn't really matter if they're all different sizes or um, how uneven they are because that really just adds to the look. So I think I'm quite happy with that. Maybe a few more down. Okay. You could use different colour lip liners as well. That might look quite pretty. So the next thing we're going to do is our brows. So for this I'm using Makeup Revolution Ultra Brow Arch and Shape. So it comes with a pencil one side and a sort of felt tip the other side. I'm going to be using the pencil and I'm just lightly filling in my brow. So I generally start at the bottom and do thin strokes up in the direction that the hair is going. So on the inner portion that's mainly up and slightly out and then I fill in the top arch because it's a bit lighter there and then do downward strokes on the outside on the tail of the brow. I don't want them to be too dramatic because I don't want them to take away from um, the eye makeup really. And then what I'm going to do is get L'Oreal's Brow Artist Plumper and just apply a thin coat over the eyebrow. Now this helps keep the eyebrow in place and it also adds tiny fibres to the eyebrow to make them a bit thicker and a bit darker. So generally I frown a bit just so the hairs are um, lifted off from the skin so I don't blob this onto the skin. It does look a bit odd as we're doing it. I'm 
I brush the hairs up and out. That way they look a bit, a bit fuller, really, which I quite like. So that's pretty much um, the eyebrow complete. And now we're going to just put some colour in the waterline. I'm going to be using MAC Designer Purple, which is a glittery purple. As you see, it goes really nicely with the urban shade. And now we're going to put mascara on. So um, I'm going to start with Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensation. I'm going to wipe off most of the product of the mascara. That way you're less likely to blob it onto all the eyeshadow. After you've put all that hard work in, it'd be a shame to do that. Right. And we're put the mascara right at the bottom of the lashes and wiggle the brush up to the end. This will help separate the hairs and then go on the top side of the hairs. Okay, when you're happy with that, you can then apply mascara on the bottom lash line. I'm actually going to use a purple one um, to match the makeup that's already there. And it's a uh, super colour mascara by Kiko or Kaiko? I'm not too sure. It's an absolutely lovely colour. Just put a thin layer of that on. It's quite a subtle detail, so if you don't have any coloured mascara, it's absolutely fine, just use black. Or you could mix a bit of Fix Plus by MAC in with a gel liner and make your own and just paint it on. That's also quite a good effect. Just take a bit longer to dry, so um, it's a wetter formula. So um, that's the eye makeup complete. And then what I did on the other side was have a, a bit of um, vanilla pigment by MAC onto the tops of my cheekbones as a highlight. It was quite bright, so um, just use a thin amount on a light fluffy brush. I'll show you. So, I only really took a small amount of product on the brush, and then I do a sort of C shape around the eye, up to the eyebrow, just slightly underneath it, slightly above it, and then put the brush in circular motions just to blend that in, and it will just add a nice highlight to the cheek. It's quite golden. I've also added it on my keeper's bow. Okay, there we go. Um, the last final touch is to add some concealer under the eyes. It will just help get rid of any fallout and to brighten the area. I'm going to use um, the MAC Pro Palette, um, Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Light. And I'm using the W10, so the lightest shade in that. I'm using um, a fluffy brush by Stigma and I'm just going to blend that under the eye. So this will help lift the area, remove any fallout and we just want to rub it slightly into the cheek, the blush that we've applied. There we go, and that's the makeup look complete. 